Hi everyone, on this channel I create videos packed with lots of great information. So if you're interested in learning new things, subscribe to my channel and join the fun. This is another video in my series about using Microsoft Excel. In this particular video, I'm going to show you how you can use Flash Fill to do almost anything based on some form of a repeating pattern. And be sure to watch the video until the end, because I'm going to show you two tricks that are super easy and most importantly, very useful. Check out this example. You might have an existing list of people's first and last names, but for whatever reason, you need those names to be formatted such that the last name is first and the first name is last. In a previous video, I showed you how you can separate the first and last names using Excel's text to columns feature, and then use Excel's concatenate function to put the names back together such that the last name is first and the first name is last. That strategy worked pretty well, but Flash Fill works even better. Let me show you what I mean. Flash Fill is located in the Data tab right over here. And you can see that the hotkey is Control-E. We'll use that in the following examples. Take a look down here. This example is just like the example above, but Flash Fill is going to make it a lot easier. If I want to take that list of names and convert it from first name, last name, to last name, comma, first name, all I need to do is start typing in those names in the format that I want. So I'll type in the person's last name, comma, and first name. If I hit the enter key, that data will be entered, but you can see Excel takes me down one row. And in order to use flash fill, I wanna be right on top of that cell. So instead of hitting enter, I'm going to hit control enter, and that will input the data but it won't move me from one cell to the next. Now check this out, you're gonna love this. If we use that hotkey, control E, Excel is gonna automatically recognize the pattern that we entered and then auto fill all the way down. So I'm gonna hit control E. And there you go, it's that easy. Just like that, we can go from first name, last name, to last name, comma, first name. And that just scratches the surface of what Excel can do with flash fill. Let me give you a couple other examples. If we want the last name and then a comma and the first initial and a period, just type it in, hit control enter so that that data is inputted and then hit control E to flash fill. Maybe we just want initials such that we have the last initial, a period, a space, the first initial and then a period. For this first person, we would have a D period space and then A period. I'm going to hit control enter so that data is inputted and then hit control E to flash fill. Flash fill is actually very powerful. Let me show you another couple examples and then I'm gonna show you a couple tricks. In this example, we can use flash fill to extract the person's username from their email address. I've already done that with the first person. Now all I need to do is hit control E to flash fill. Take a look at this example. Let's assume that we need to create email addresses for new users, and the email addresses are all going to be structured so that the username includes the person's last name and then the last two digits of their birth year. I have that first one done, so Excel has enough information to recognize the pattern. All I need to do now is hit Control E. In this example, I have nine digit social security numbers but I need to reformat them so that they are separated with hyphens and also so that the first six digits are masked using X's. All I need to do is format the first one the way I need it and then hit control E to use splash fill. Take a look at this example. In this example, I have people's telephone numbers. In parentheses, there's the area code and then following the area code is the three digit exchange. If I need to extract the exchange from each phone number, all I need to do is format the first one the way I want it and then hit control E to flash fill. It works amazingly well. And now let me show you a couple tricks because you're gonna see every now and then you're going to run into trouble using flash fill. For example, let's say I have data for people's names, but it's broken down so that one column is the first name, a second column is the middle initial, and the third column represents the last name. 
but I want to put that all together so that the person's name has the first name, middle initial, and last name all in one cell. I formatted that first person's name exactly how I want it. All I should need to do at this point is hit Control E to flash fill. But when I hit Control E, you see I get an error message. It says we looked at all the data next to your selection and didn't see a pattern for filling in the values. The problem is that Excel is going to look at the column immediately next to your data. And in this case, just for formatting purposes, I have a blank column. So what I need to do in this situation is just put in something. I can even just put in a blank space. So I just hit the space bar and now I'm going to hit enter. Now I can go back to that original cell and try using flash fill again. Remember control E is the hotkey and now it works. That said, flash fill didn't work in this situation exactly as I would have liked it. Because for example, there are a couple of these people who don't have a middle initial and Excel really didn't handle it appropriately in these situations. This is the next trick. All you need to do is correct where you don't like the formatting and then Excel will correct the rest of it automatically. So I'm going to double click on this cell to activate the editing, backspace out that one period that I don't like, hit enter and then automatically flash fill formatted the rest of the cells correctly. It's like magic. Excel has lots of great features. So take some time to play with Excel and see what it can do for you. If you found this video helpful, please like it, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.